Hey everyone, welcome to another week of sing-alongs with me, Mike. Um, and so this week's charity um, is, is going to be Dingley's Promise. Now, some of you may remember, even though it was, feels like it might have been sometime in the middle of the um, 1990s when I started doing this, um, the, uh, for the very first couple of days that when I start, decided to make this a charitable thing, um, I found uh, Dingley's Promise on Facebook and added them as a as 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 someone you know that I added to my posts, um, so they've been there pretty much since the first week, but they've never actually had a full week, and because I've pretty much doubled my Facebook followers and, and YouTube subscribers since that point, um, I thought it would be a good idea to to kind of bring them back into the fold um, and loop back around to them and and give them the the attention they deserve because they do what I believe to be one of the most important jobs that they that anyone can do, which is supporting. The very youngest people um, in our community who are um, facing a very very tough time um, from the outset. So, I have with me Catherine, um, who is the CEO of Dingley's Promise. Here she is. Um, and, hello. Um, hello. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> she, uh, Catherine and I were on um, Chris Bolton's radio show on uh, last week on Wednesday, um, and I think that's where how we kind of um, joined forces. Um, and and that's. Uh, this is the result we've got we've got Catherine chatting with, with me today so Catherine can you tell um, uh, anyone who's watching and all the viewers out there who what Dingley's Promise is what the hand and what do they do so Dingley's Promise started all the way back in 1983 um, and it was set up by a group of parents who had children with special educational needs and disabilities uh, in the early years and they were getting lots of support from the hospital but they were sort of saying do you know what our kids need to have fun, they need to play, they need to make friends, they need to learn and have more than just medical interventions. Yeah. So that's where we were born. Uh, we've been in Newbury 22 years uh, and we now work, we have a nursery in Newbury uh, where we support children in the early years, giving them the best start. We support their families as well. We have family support work um, and we also train nurseries, train mainstream nurseries to support more children with disabilities as well so right. it's quite a wide range that we have now and yeah making a good impact and this is our little guy this is dingley yeah. bear <laughs> <Brilliant>. <laughs> so he's our guy oh, cool. <laughs> you can meet him too oh fab awesome <laughs> does he talk much no he's silent <laughs> well, <laughs> it's really nice maybe a good maybe he's, maybe he's quite rude off off, off yeah who knows um, but um uh, so what how has the covid outbreak um affected you guys uh, it, very, very quickly, we actually shifted all of our work to remote working because we realised that our children um, were going to be affected by it a lot. Yeah. Already, yeah. they tend to be more isolated than other children. So we immediately focused on moving all of our family support online. And we also then had sessions with the children online as well. So they're supported um you know games in yeah. groups as well as one-to-one -one work yeah. um so all of that came out very quickly and um, what's been really incredible is some um, national statistics came out um just a week ago about the impact on families with children with send and obviously the impact is huge um and they were sort of talking about nationally 86 percent of families with children with send felt their learning and communication has suffered so we asked our families the same question yeah. and among our families, it was 30%. Wow. And I think it just sort of shows how really focused, really detailed work with those families has helped them to get through a period. Still, it's been really hard, yeah. but it's really made a big difference. And one of our families in Newbury just said, you know, no one else has been in touch in the whole period. It's only us who've been in touch so I, yeah. I think it's just underlined how important that connection and that work is really yeah definitely and it's um yeah so this is as i said at the start of the video this is kind of why i wanted to bring um come back around to you guys because i heard mm -hmm. you read that out um on on chris's show the other day and that's just amazing you know the and and yeah. What isn't so amazing is that that one family hadn't heard from anyone <laughs> apart from you no. <laughs> um so i mean obviously everyone's kind of affected and you know if people mm -hmm. are uh, i guess if you're working for a charity um you there's there there, there has to be a, a particular amount of passion going on for you to, mm. to to do that and um sometimes i guess if you're working um just as an, an employee in a job where part of your role is to pick up a phone maybe that 
passion isn't there or maybe people don't have um you know lots, lots of people may have been off with with or you know with, mm. with the virus but whatever the reasons yeah. are um the fact that you were the only guy um, to, to contact that, that family was is pretty pretty awful <laughs> but well done yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you, you bucked the trend there in in two in two respects um and yeah you're just doing an, an amazing job so um i'm really really um up for seeing how much of a frenzy we can whip people up into this week about what you guys do so um uh last question then apart from giving you lots of money how can people help dingley's promise um in this time and and also going forward so at the moment it may not sound like much but actually because we're all remote people need to know about all the resources there are for them um and so it's all about you know sharing Please, you know, follow us on all the social media streams, follow us on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, make sure you get the word out, help us to let people know that we're here. Yeah. If, family, if families need us, we're always there for them. And yeah. we're not just supporting the families who come to Dingley, our support offer is there for every family in the early years of the child was sent. Yeah. So it's like, that is a huge way people can help. Can I just, Obviously, just, just one yes. second, Kathy, just to make sure yeah. that everyone's aware that send means special educational needs and disabilities just in yes. case there aren't any we aren't any um clued up people watching in <laughs> sorry <laughs> acronyms um yeah so there's that and of course um our centers have actually gone back to work they went back to work oh, cool. as of the first yeah first of june oh, well we still don't have a lot of families because a lot of the children need to be shielded but we are back and anybody wants to get involved in a volunteering way. There's loads of different ways. You know, you, you can help us by raising awareness. You could help us by doing a pub crawl and sticking our little pots in all the pubs as they reopen to get donations, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be fun volunteering, wouldn't it? Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> so no, there's, there's a lot of ways that people can help. And, you know, you could also volunteer in a center, you can volunteer for events or you can volunteer regularly. Uh, yeah, we couldn't do what we do without the support of the local community. Cool. All right. Brilliant. Well, hopefully we can get some people um, at very least sharing and, and, and raising some awareness. Now, I when I when I first put you guys on on my post, you know, however many weeks ago, um, people kind of asked, you know, what, what's being these? Who are they? Um, mm. And I was kind of ashamed to, to find out you've been in Newbury for 22 years and also you've been in existence for like since 83. So that's a, a long time that you guys have been doing an amazing work, um, amount of work with probably nowhere near the amount of recognition that, that you deserve and the amount of awareness that you, that you need to, to really build and, and push forward what you're doing. Uh, yeah, so and, it, and I like like we said, it's just making sure that anyone who needs it knows about it. I yeah. can't tell you how many times a family has said to me when they've got an eight-year-old or a nine-year-old, you know, we struggled so much in the early years, but we didn't know you were there. And that's awful. Oh yeah, totally. And um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so hopefully we can we can change that a little bit. Um, and uh, if, if, if not just for this week, uh, maybe kind of push forward. Um, and you know, I'm I'm trying to think of how um i can kind of carry this on once lockdown is finished so i'll be talking mm. to you in a bit <laughs> um so um, right cool uh, catherine that's all the questions um that i've got um for, for for today thank you so much for coming on thank you and letting everyone know about the awesome cheers dingley bye <laughs> um, <laughs> oh he did speak did speak <laughs> oh, that, it may have been me <laughs> okay. all right cool um so um so yeah so thanks a lot again and um hopefully speaking to you soon all the best thank you so much mike no worries bye